Hello and welcome to Eacortex License Installation Video Guide. My name is Roman. I'm a Cortex International Presale Engineer and today I'll show you how to install Eacortex License and prepare your server for work in four easy steps. Let's start. Step 1. Download Eacortex installation package. Before we will be able to activate Eacortex License, we need to install Eacortex itself. For that, you need to go to our website eacortex.com to the support download software section. Find the version you plan to install and click on the download button in front of full version package of the version you selected. If you plan to use such models as license plate recognition, face recognition, hard heart detection, mask detection or people counting in queue, it will be a good idea to download the corresponding packages too. Earlier, for the version 3, Point zero and other, there were two separate Eacortex installation packages named like uh, Eacortex 3.0 and Eacortex Ultra 3.0. The first one was designed for such licenses as ML, LS and ST, and the other one was for Ultra licenses only. Starting from the version 3.1, there is only one distributive, which is suitable for software installation with no dependencies what type of license you have. So. If you will use version 3.1 and newer, just click on download button for the Eacortex full version line and wait while download will finish. Step 2. Install Eacortex on your server machine. When Eacortex installation package is downloaded on your server machine, you need to launch it as any other software installer. At the first screen of installation wizard, you need to select the language and then read and accept the end user license agreement. At the next screen, you need to select the parts of your Cortex software you need to install on your machine and click to install. If you want to change installation directory, you can do it on the next screen after manually set installation path checkbox activation. A bit of information about installation options. Client. With that option, the client application will be installed on your machine that allows you to view the streams from cameras in real time and from the archive, control your PTZ cameras and read the data from intelligent models activated on your server. This option does not require any uh, own license for, for operation. So, if you need to create the system with one server and several client machines, you will need to use the license key only on the server machine. Server. This option allows you to install the main part of your Cortex software, the server itself, the heart of our video surveillance system. This part is responsible for receiving, processing, analyzing and archiving data from IP cameras. You need to install it only on those machines where you plan to process the data and store the archive. Server option works as Windows servers, so it launches at computer startup and runs in the background. For operating this software, requires license key activated. Standalone. This option is a combination of previous two points and suitable for the systems where the archive recording and real-time surveillance should be processed on the same computer. In opposite to server option, this type of software works as a Windows application instead of a Windows service. But as the server option, this type of installation requires the license key too. System health check. By this option, an additional service can be installed on your server that allows you to watch the state of your servers and cameras via a specially designed web interface. Note please that this option works with enterprise and ultra licenses only, so it has no point to install this part of your Cortex software for the licenses like ML, LS and ST. Select the options you want to install, click on the next button and wait until the installation process will be finished. As you can see, at the screen you can change the installation path for client application and for the server part. To save our time, I'll cut this process because there is nothing interesting in installation software. Step 3. License activation with online activation function. 
Your Cortex software is installed on your machine, and for the first launch you will see the license is not installed message in your Cortex status info window. It's time to install your license then. Please note that this option requires the internet connection on the server with port 8080 available for Air Cortex. If your security policies does not allow you to provide unrestricted internet connection for your server, then it will be better to use the fine activation described in step 4. Click on Install the license button in Air Cortex status info window and select the type of your key. As you may know, Air Cortex supports two different types of license keys, software and hardware. Software key looks like 36 symbols code with letters and numbers, and the hardware key looks like USB dongle of green, orange or white plastic. But the activation process is pretty similar for both of them. Let's use at this moment USB key. And then click on next button. At the next window, you need to select your USB key from the list and click on next button. And that's all. A license is installed on your server, and now you can uh, configure your server and start to use. But what if we can't use online activation function? Step 4. License activation with offline activation function. If for some reason you can't use online activation function, but the license still needs to be installed on your server. Then you can use a fine activation function that allows you to send the license request and receive the license response manually. Click on Install the license button in the Cortex status info window and select the type of your key. At this time we will use software license. But don't click on Next button yet. Before we go further, activate the checkbox named Offline Activation and only then click Next. Sometimes Air Cortex can detect any other HASP license keys via network as it displayed on the screen. If it happened to you, just click on Enter Code button. At the next window, type online your activation code and click on Next button. At this stage, click on Save Request File button, which allows you to create the request file with MCK request extension. You need to send it to LAC at eacortex.com via any mail client. In response, you will receive an email with attached MCK file that should be uploaded to your server. At this moment, I already have this file. Click on the corresponding button and select the file you saved from the email. Click Next button and finish the license installation process. That's all. Pretty simple process. Now we can configure our server and start using Air Cortex. But that is a topic for another video. Thanks for watching.